We're really immortal? Could you tell me a bit more about how this immortality thing works? Yeah, I wish I could. So far, it's only the things I've learned the hard way. You die, you get revived. I have no idea why that happens and how. I also know it's the reason why the training in this place sucks so much. They don't spare us, and dying over and over isn't exactly fun. I can imagine. I felt like shit when I woke up. Yeah, and as far as I can tell, there is no way to remove that thing or turn it off. The tech behind it must be fascinating. I would love to have some time alone with decent power tools and an immortal volunteer. You know, do a full disassembly. Interested? Full disclosure, I'm not sure if the reassembly would be possible, since you might be dead, so... Yeah, that's a no from me. Sorry. No hard feelings. I'll find someone one day. <laughs> well, that's all I know. But I don't remember much in general. Well, I'm also quite blank when it comes to what happened before I woke up. Not a single bit of useful memories you could share? Oh, not really, no. The Keepers must think I'm dumb as a rock. Funny, because my name Petra actually means rock in- Latin. I know. Oh, yes, right. I'm impressed. So, what's the story with your name? I mean, Silver. Seriously? They say that's what I had written on me. A bit tacky, but it's growing on me. Well, honestly, it's only been like I kind of dig minutes. it. It's much cooler than Petra. Probably cooler than the names of everybody else. What's with everybody else? Ah, uh, yes, everybody else. Any gossip I should catch on with? Well, you've pretty much met everyone. It's mostly me and Brian. And no worries. Normally he doesn't have his head all the way up his ass. You'll get along just fine. Unlike with the asshole Marco, he's just the worst. I would keep away from him if I were you. Why? I honestly think he's lost his marbles. He has super reflexes and is a fast learner. I must give him that. That's why he quickly became a bit of a teacher's pet. And because Maltus gave him some fancy swords, he now thinks he's something better. And he's totally eyeing that magic wand Tobias has. Did you say magic wand? <laughs> yeah, a magic wand. Sure. <laughs> of course, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's a rod, some kind of advanced tech. Project some kind of lightning. Haven't seen anything quite like it. Would love to spend a little time with it in the shop. You can get a peek in that weird shriney place right behind Tobias. Whatever makes it tick, it's a pretty damn effective weapon. Marco has only found himself on the wrong end of it so far during the practice sessions with Tobias. But he is literally dying to get his hands on it first, since he was the first one here. How long have you been here? Ah, interesting. So, how long have you been here? Just a few weeks. Pretty much like everybody like else. Marco voice acting, Marco though. got here just a few days earlier. I have no idea how long the Whiteys want to keep us here, but they seem a bit stressed the last few days. So I guess something's about to go down. What would that be? Honestly, no idea. Maybe that vague ascension thing they keep mentioning? Maybe a war? Who knows? I just hope we'll make it out in one piece. Why not run away? Did you try running away? The security in this place seems to be, well, just some thick walls. Not even thick-headed guards. What would be the point? We have talked about it with Brian. We don't know anything about this planet yet. And if somebody is willing to teach us something useful for free and feed us in the process... How do you know they're not just using you? Well, Brian believes they aren't. I have my doubts, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Don't get me wrong, it's not exactly a holiday camp, and I absolutely hate training. But it seems like the only reasonable thing to do in this situation. What about the rats? Did a pest problem get out of hand around here? I have never seen rats this big. Are they walking on their hind legs all the time? They are fascinating, right? They keep to themselves, nice and obedient, perfect servants. I believe the whiteys are just abusing them. I mean, they might not be super smart. Who? whiteys? No, rats, you silly. <laughs> anyway, they sure do have feelings. And I believe they should be treated with greater dignity. 
So this is what that quarrel with Brian was about? Yeah. He just doesn't understand. What's wrong with you men, anyway? He's simply happy to butcher them by the dozens. Well, I do believe in animal rights, so... They are not animals, Silver. There's something more. I'm trying to figure out if they're a domesticated natural species, or if they were genetically engineered to be this tame. And? My guess is natural. Who would breed such things? It's just a hunch, though. No scientific backing for my hypothesis. If you find out anything yourself, I'm all ears. Perhaps that's something going on. The rats are not what they seem. Oh? That sounds deep and stupid at the same time. <laughs> Did you find out if they are natural or mutants? Not really. Something more disturbing. Tobias says some of them got away and are plotting to kill us. Does he? That's more than he ever told me. I highly doubt that, though. From what I've gathered so far, they seem harmless. Well, I'm just saying it might be a bit more complex than we thought. Noted. Thanks. I'll keep observing them. How about ladies? This might sound weird, but I kind of like you. So I will just give it my best shot. Oh, oh. my god. Am I going <laughs> to ask her out? Is. Well, any ladies around here? Ouch. <laughs> you mean apart from me? Well, that came out wrong, didn't it? <laughs> I had this vision, you know. Word moment. There was this, I don't know, entity called itself Lady of the Lake. Oh, like from the old legends? Yeah, but she looked all shiny, like some sort of robot. Huh, shiny. Yeah, curious. I mean, no. Doesn't really ring a bell. And I haven't heard the whiteys talking about any ladies, nor lakes. Well, never mind. The message was all distorted anyway. Noisy, grainy, and glitchy. Didn't make any sense. That's strange. Maybe there's something wrong with your belt, then. Curious that you'd bring that up. That's also what Maltus said. But how would the belt and the vision be connected? Uh, me and my technical brain. Always jumping to conclusions. Just forget I said anything. It's probably nonsense, anyway. Right. I guess when it comes to ladies, you're stuck with me. <laughs> yeah, ladies and their secrets. Great. So, I have some sort of sword now, and a shitty shield. Anything I should know about this training thing? Well, you're all set and ready, I guess. I can't wait to see how cute you will be. Oh, and just try to steer clear of Marco. Mm, that Marco there? Uh, hey man. Sorry about that little show with Petra. <clears throat> Women, you know. Feelings. Irrational tempers. Normally, we're, we're really tight, you know. Hey, no worries. I'm not here to judge you. Great. Honestly, I feel enough pressure already. Anyway, I suppose you have plenty of questions. Yeah. Too bad, because I don't have many answers. I guess the Keepers do, Moltis and his boys. But they prefer to keep for themselves. So I just focus on the training. With the belts. What do you know about those belts we have? Maltus didn't tell me much. Well, I know they do work. I've died quite a few times already, and look at me, up and running. The same goes for Petra and Marco. It seems that dying is the human thing to do here. Oh, I'd say nothing human is alien to me, but this has alien written all over it. Yeah, but why worry about it when it works? Better than being dead, that's what I say. I think Petra tried to fiddle with the belts, but didn't find out anything useful. She should have spent that time training. Practice makes perfect, you know. But she just keeps complaining about killing the rats instead. If you ask me, you can't make a good training omelette without breaking a few necks, right? What do you practice for? What's the point of all that practice and perfection? Well, I don't know. The Naboru are good at keeping their secrets secret. Well, Tobias told me the Ratkins will eat us alive over and over if we don't train. Is that true? If he says so, uh, I would believe him. The, the rats do look vicious, but honestly, I have no idea. They never told me that. 
Moltis just bosses me around with no answers, and, and the only thing that Tobias has been willing to share with me so far is their swordplay skills. He does have a lot to pass on there, I must give him that. He might be an old guy, but he can teach you a lot. Really? Don't let the looks and the attitude fool you. He's tough as a rock, that fellow. From what I've gathered, he, he fought in some war with those stinky giant rats they keep around his service. He lost his right hand in battle, he claims, then killed another dozen of them single-handedly. Very dry sense of humor, that guy, and sharp as attack. If you can keep up with him, he'll get you trained in no time. What if I don't want to? What if I'm not into fencing? Is there anything more useful to do around here? Any lakes, for instance? Like, to swim and keep fit? Lakes? That's a weird question. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it is. Well, I had this vision, and... Never mind, it's probably nothing. Ah, a, a vision. Well, lucky you. I guess I... I certainly didn't have anything like that. Nope. Only scattered <laughs> memories that make no sense whatsoever. But, hey, no worries, we're all equally lost here. No voice inside our head to guide us or whatever. Anyway, if there was anything else to do, I'm certain the Naboru would tell us. It seems that it's in their best interest to prepare us for whatever is coming. Mm -hmm. What would that be? Any idea what that would be? As I've told you, I don't have many answers. Another war with those annoying rats would be my first guess. Maybe they've told Marco something. They seem to trust him most. They gave him those high-quality swords and promised him a bright, flashy future. Anyway, given how disturbed they seem recently, I'd say we'll find out soon enough. Why don't you ask Marco? Why don't you ask Marco, then? How to put that? Well, Marco certainly has a lot of skills. People skills are not among them. I would rely on him when it comes to killing. Other than that, he's a bit... too much. You'd probably have better luck with Maltus himself, but still, I wouldn't keep your hopes high. I'll take your word for it. Well, I'll have to take your word on that. I'm still figuring out the ins and outs of this mess. I should probably really carry on with that training thing. Thanks for all your input. No problem. We're in this together. Hi, I'm Silver, the new guy. Great. I'm not interested. What? I'm not interested. In whatever you have to say. Hey, sorry man, I didn't mean to bother you. I'm just trying to, you know, look around, send out some feelers, get to know people, assess Mingle. the situation. Well, let me give you a piece of advice, asshole. Don't strain your brain. This whole thing is fucked up. More fucked up than you can imagine or understand. That actually makes me sort of eager to ask more. Hey. If you can't understand a simple, not interested, how could you get more complex things? Just kindly piss off before I jam your nose between your cheeks and make it the filling of a buttock sandwich. I need to think. Right. Whatever, moron. He was pleasant. You are back again, master. They sent me to- Yes, master. Get better things to better kill our kin. Like you killed Fink and Durg. Praterus, just tell me. Shame. Here, take and go. Do your killing. I really hoped you'd be different, but you like Naboru after all. Give me a break. I really didn't have a choice, you know. We all have choice, Master. We can choose to help those who make others suffer, or we can choose to help those who suffer. Be sure you know what is better. Now, oh. some of it's like training katana you've just received are capable of casting spells or buffs instead of the secondary attacks. Case of two-handed weapons and shields, this would take place in our parry find out what spell items came by clicking on them. Okay. Spells are cast from items that require intellect to grow more powerful with each skill point spent. 
Spells cast from other items do not scale with intellect. Each faction has mastered different schools of magic. Reckons use aggressive fire magic, while Nabru means void magic. It's unclear who wields lightning. Probably the person that stabbed me. I've discovered only recently. Need more help? <clears throat> like with your guilty conscience? About Tobias's niece. From what Tobias says, it seems that your free kindred kidnapped and ate his little niece. Why should I help child murderers? He liar. We have big teeth, Naboru fear. But we prefer vegetables. Tobias just spreading lies about our kin. He just hit everybody because he lost his hand in war. He happy we his slaves, and he can pester us. Slaves? Hold on right there. <clears throat> I thought you work here as servants. I'm an idiot. Servants? Are you blind? Maybe they call us servants, but we slaves. Tobias tortures and kills. He laughing when putting collar for a leash with fiery iron on our neck, master. I am dumb with a big chain on his neck. <clears throat> and on his hands or his wrists? Yeah. Why don't you do something about it? Well, you could always fight back, right? Or at least stand up for yourself somehow. If you unleash your full potential, those are some pretty sharp teeth you've got there. Teeth sharp and strong, but the leash too strong. And we are not how fight master. We scrub floors and fix meals and garden and give weapons. We not know another life. We want justice. Oh boy. Um. A hard time being a horrible person. Um. Help? Well, that sounds shitty. Let me get to know the ropes around here, and I'll try and see what we can do about the tortures kill situation. Thank you, Master. Do something for us now. We need something to heal our kin, Master. Many burned and tortured by Vaitis. They keep medical kits hidden from us. Bring one, Master. Stop calling me that. I'll see what I can do. Hmm. Find a healing kit, huh? Charge it? That's it. I have to go back there and see if I can break that other one. Fragment of a legendary axe and healing orb, okay. Oh, can't break that up. Already have boots. Dude, 
be better. Swing thrust crush. Oh, yeah. Put him on. Can I get my medical kit that he wants? Maybe I got what he needs. We'll find out. Master, you bring medicine for injured Bractors? Hey, NB, how you doing? Game of the year for 2022? So far, mine is Plague Tale. Um, but I liked it with the demo, what I've seen this one a long time ago when I played. Medical kit? So, that medical kit? Yes, Master. Master Brings? Yeah, let's give it to him. I think I told you to stop calling me that. Sorry, Master. This is all I could get. Uh, my rat relations is up. Yes, Master. Thank you. To save many burn and mutilated. And look what I accidentally find. May it make you stronger than messy masters. So, you have a little under the counter stash here. Everybody You're kidding? Equal. Okay. Friends of our kin, more equal. I see. Well, thank you. I thank you. On behalf of Rat... Uh, we thank you. On behalf of Rat what? Shh. Rat volunteers. That's how they call us. Lot of irony around. But do not worry. Go train. Okay. I hope I won't regret this. All be good. Promise. What did he, what did he give me? I missed it. Fragment of a legendary axe. Sure what he gave me. I see you are ready. Good. It's time for the next step. You will train with your human counterparts. I suppose you wonder why. And uh, no, not really. The idea of not having to do more killing actually sounds just fine mm. to me. Good. You might think that challenging Noboru or rats might be more beneficial for you. True, the chances you will fight other humans are slim. But with them, you can always fight to the death. It oh, is great. proven to bring the best results. And since none of you can really die, death is merely a technicality. That sounds like a rather painful technicality <laughs> to me. It's the best yeah. way to learn in the short time we have. No second chances, no room for errors. You must do your best from the beginning. Oh boy. Or right, Marco? Well, let's do my best then. Yeah, we're gonna Marco, die. enter and commence. Ah. Time to kick the newbie's ass. Oh my God. 
Alive again. Yeah. I can only presume you have lost to our best pupil. How very unsurprising. Well, yeah. Tobias kept hoping somebody could replace Marco. Yet you've made it very I clear think I was supposed it won't to be die, you. Though. Hey, I wasn't trying to replace anybody. How could you? The power of immortality you possess was clearly bestowed upon unworthy loins. Could you just give me a break already? I've just died and it's all very... Silence. We have no time to waste on failures like... What was that? Oh, lowly. The Queen is coming. That's too early. Too early. Give me your weapons. Okay. Tobias, dispatch the order crew to their respective missions and come back. We'll keep Silver here. He's not ready. Hide now. When the time is right, sneak out and acquire the rod. I'll stall the queen. Bring the lightning rod to the armor. I'll meet you there. Your Majesty, what an unexpected honor. Silence. You like her helmet? Now go! Move it! Your Majesty, I don't understand words. Silence, you lowlife. You have broken your vows. Marshal, do you know? We know you I are hiding sneak. forbidden I'm gonna technology. Ultimately fail and... here. Dear Gracchus, follow the procedure. We first need to acquire proof to support your claims. Patriarch, our guards are probing your premises rigorously. And if they find anything unorderly. Patriarch Maltus has uh, ordered you to hide the lightning rod. Sneak your way into the shrine where you spoke with Tobias. Grab the rod and get to the armory where you spoke with the racket. Okay. And any spots, uh, it's about to spot you an indicator. Okay. You stay in the enemy's line not too long, grow threat. Okay. At that point, the enemy will spot you and attack you. In this case, you get the threat indicator. Okay. Out of my way, ready. God, can I sneak? Is that a thing? Around. Uh, I can't go through this way. Crap. Go through here. You're gonna let me? Yep. Go past that point. Yeah, he does. He'd see me there. There's a guy up there too. How the hell? Maybe not from here. See, go. Oh. Uh, this is probably not going to go well. Help me, ready.
Huh. Where do I go? I sure can't go that way. Well, I'll wait for him to come back around. I guess we'll kind of go that way. How am I going to get around this guy? Because I got another dude that's up there. I believe he'd see me. Oh, gosh. Really? 